The Cosmere is a fictional universe created by American author Brandon Sanderson. It's currently made up of 16 novels, 6 novellas, 3 short stories, and a graphic novel split into 3 volumes. That's a lot of stories, and it can make diving into this amazing universe quite confusing, raising the question, where do I even start? If you're asking yourself that question, don't worry. I've read through all of the Cosmere, and I put together the best Cosmere reading order that will allow you to start this reading journey with confidence. Following this reading order will allow you to build your Cosmere knowledge at the right pace and will ensure you get the big reveals and connections at the right times to avoid spoilers. You'll begin your Cosmere journey with Mistborn Era 1. This is a trilogy of books that begins with Mistborn, the final empire, followed by the Well of Ascension, and concludes with the Hero of Ages. The story is set on a planet named Scadriel, where ash falls from the sky, curling mists cover the land at night, and an immortal god, who has been in power for over 1,000 years, rules over two groups of people, the privileged nobles and the oppressed Ska. A 16-year-old girl from the underground, with curious luck, joins a charismatic thief and his specialized crew to attempt the impossible, raise a rebellion, and take down their tyrant god ruler to liberate their people. After you finish the Mistborn Era 1 trilogy, you'll want to get a copy of a very important book called Arcanum Unbounded, The Cosmere Collection. As the title suggests, this book is a collection of many different Cosmere novellas, short stories, and essays about the various planetary systems within the Cosmere. In order to avoid spoilers, you won't read all of the stories in this collection at once, but will instead read certain ones occasionally throughout your Cosmere journey. At this point, you should read the essay titled The Skadrian System and the short story titled The Eleventh Metal. The essay will introduce you to some Cosmere-specific terminology and will help you pick up on the inner workings of this universe going forward. The short story is actually a prequel to the Mistborn Era 1 trilogy, but it is best read after finishing the trilogy. Next up, you'll set aside Arcanum Unbounded for now and read Elantris. This is the sixth book Brandon ever wrote and the first book he published. The story takes place on the planet Cell in and around a city named Elantris. The city of Elantris was once a magical place inhabited by immortal, benevolent beings who had the power to create objects and heal the sick with a mere wave of their hand. Ten years ago, however, the magic failed, ruining the city and leaving the inhabitants leper-like and powerless. The city is now sealed off and used as a prison for these cursed beings. You will follow three protagonists a priest trying to prevent a war, a princess, and a prince who is stricken with the Elantrian curse and is cast into the ruins of the city. Some people recommend Elantris as the first Cosmere book to read since it was published first, but I think starting with Mistborn is a better way to get introduced to the universe. Once you finish Elantris, you'll be ready to crack open Arcanum Unbounded once again and read three of its entries, starting with the essay titled The Cellish System, where you'll gain a deeper understanding of the planet Cell. Next comes the short story titled The Hope of Elantris. This story occurs at the same time and place as certain events in Elantris, but centers on different characters. The third entry you'll read is the novella titled The Emperor's Soul. It also takes place on the same planet as Elantris, but in a different culture. The story follows a girl who is imprisoned and condemned to death for trying to steal from the Emperor. She is given one opportunity to save her life by using her unique skills to help the Emperor, but the task seems impossible. After those three entries, it's time to put Arcanum Unbounded away and read Warbreaker. This is a standalone book for now, but Brandon plans to write a sequel at some point in the future. The story follows two sisters who are princesses in a land called Idris. One of the sisters is sent to a rival nation to marry the hulking and powerful ruler known as the God King to prevent war between the two nations. The other sister follows in a rescue attempt. Thus, they are both thrust into a landscape of gods, magic, and political mysteries. Following Warbreaker, you'll read White Sand, which is actually a graphic novel comprised of three volumes. The story takes place on the day side of a tidally locked planet called Taldane, where Sandmasters harness arcane powers to manipulate sand in spectacular ways. 
After a surprise attack happens against the Sandmasters, the sole survivor teams up with a mysterious woman from the dark side of the planet to seek out the truth behind the attack. You'll notice that Arcanum Unbounded includes an excerpt of the first volume of the graphic novel, as well as the prologue and first chapter of a prose version Brandon wrote in 1999. For the full canon version, you'll need to buy the three volumes of the graphic novel. All three of these volumes can be purchased together in the Omnibus version. If you aren't a fan of graphic novels, you can buy the graphic audio version and listen to it as an audiobook. Brandon does have plans to release a canon prose version eventually, but at the time of this video being recorded, there is no release date for that. After White Sand, you can go back to Arcanum Unbounded and read the essay titled The Taldane System, which will give you a deeper understanding of the planet White Sand takes place on. Next up, you'll dive into the Stormlight Archive, which is a beast of a series that will eventually be comprised of 10 books split into two five-book arcs. The first Stormlight book you'll read is The Way of Kings. The story takes place on the rocky planet Roshar. The land is regularly battered by incredibly powerful tempests known as high storms. The assassination of the king of a powerful nation caused a war to break out that is still ongoing when the story begins. The main protagonists include a slave who is forced to fight in a never-ending war, a high prince who is troubled by overpowering visions of ancient times, and a young woman seeking training under a famous scholar, but she has ulterior motives. After you finish The Way of Kings, you might be tempted to jump right into the second book, but I encourage you to first go back to Arcanum Unbounded and read the novella titled Sixth of the Dusk, which will allow you to catch certain connections in later Stormlight books. This story takes place on a deadly island where birds grant people magical talents and predators can sense the thoughts of their prey. It follows a solitary trapper who is trying to save his home island from a catastrophic danger that he has been warned about but does not understand. Once you finish the novella, go ahead and read the essay titled The Dramanad System to learn of the planet the novella takes place on. Now you can get back to the Stormlight Archive. I won't be giving summaries for the rest of these Stormlight books to avoid spoilers, but just know that they all take place on the planet Roshar, and you will follow many of the same characters throughout these books. The scope is epic, and the number of perspectives is numerous. The second book in the series is Words of Radiance. After that, you'll need to read a novella titled Edge Dancer, which can be found in Arcanum Unbounded. At this time, you can also read the essay titled The Rosharan System, also found in Arcanum Unbounded. Book three is Oathbringer, followed by another novella titled Dawn Shard. This is the only novella that isn't in Arcanum Unbounded, so you'll need to buy it on its own. After that, you'll read book four, Rhythm of War. This is the last Stormlight book that's published at the time of recording, but book 5, The Knights of Wind and Truth, has its release date set for December 6th, 2024. So if you're watching this after that date, you can go ahead and read that. There's also a novella that should be read between books 4 and 5 called Horn Eater, but that likely won't be released until 2025. So if you happen to be watching in 2025 or later, be sure to check for Horn Eater before starting book 5. Okay, now that you've read all those Stormlight books, you're ready to dive into Mistborn Era 2. There are four books in this series, and they take place on Skadriel, the same planet as Mistborn Era 1. The first book for this series is The Alloy of Law. It's set 300 years after Mistborn Era 1, and the planet's technology has now advanced to the point of guns, railroads, and electricity. The story follows a self-exiled nobleman who has just come back to the big city after living in the wild roughs as a lawman for many years. He thinks he will now have to put his guns away and assume the duty of head of his noble house in order to save it from bankruptcy, but he soon finds out that the city can be even more dangerous than the roughs. Just like with Stormlight, I won't be giving summaries for the remaining books in this series to avoid spoilers. After the Alloy of Law, you can read the short story titled Alamancer Jack and the Pits of Eltania, which can be found in Arcanum Unbounded. Then you'll read Book 2, Shadows of Self, followed by Book 3, The Bands of Mourning. At this point, you'll go back to Arcanum Unbounded and read the novella titled Mistborn Secret History. 
The placement of this novella and the reading order is highly contested among the fandom. Some people say to read it directly after Mistborn Era 1, while others, like me, say to wait until after the Bands of Mourning. When I first read Through the Cosmere, I read it after Era 1, but there is a big reveal that I think would be more impactful if you wait until this point. Leave a comment letting me know if you agree or disagree with my placement. The fourth and final book of Era 2 is The Lost Metal. Now that you've finished Mistborn Era 2, you can go back to the Arcanum Unbounded one last time and read the only remaining novella titled Shadows for Silence in the Forest of Hell. The story takes place in a forest where the shades of the dead linger around and are extremely violent. Homesteaders in this forest take precautions to avoid drawing the attention of these shades. The protagonist of the story decides to disregard these precautions in order to protect her family from a murderous gang, risking becoming a shade herself. Once you finish that novella, go ahead and read the essay titled The Threnodite System to learn more about the planet the novella takes place on. The next book you'll read is Tress of the Emerald Sea. This is a fun, fairy tale esque standalone book. The story follows Tress, a girl who lives on an island in the Emerald Sea. She leads a simple life and finds joy in collecting cups from faraway lands and listening to stories told by her friend Charlie. When Charlie's father takes him to find a bride and disaster strikes, Tress sets off on a perilous journey across pirate-infested spore seas to seek out the sorceress of the deadly Midnight Sea. After that, you'll read Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. This is also a standalone book. The story follows a girl from a world of heat, gardens, meditation, and spirits, and a man from a world of darkness, technology, and nightmares. Their lives inexplicably become intertwined in a very strange way, and they must work together to figure out how to get their lives back to the way they were before. Lastly, you will read The Sunlit Man, which also happens to be a standalone book. In this story, a man who is perpetually on the run finds himself caught up in the struggle between a tyrant with the power to turn his subjects into mindless slaves and a group of rebels trying to escape this fate. Adding to this chaotic mess is the constant threat of a sunrise whose heat melts the planet's crust and the fact that our protagonist doesn't speak the local language. If you made it to this point, then congratulations! You are completely caught up with every Cosmere book that has been released at the time of recording this video. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you would change about this reading order, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. There's plenty more Cosmere content on the way, so whether you're a longtime fan of the Cosmere or brand new to this incredible universe, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join me on this journey of exploring the Cosmere.